Hey everybody and welcome to another learn to digitize video. My name is Sue and today we're going to do something really cool. I am testing out some new equipment that I have. Hopefully that'll make videos even better. So by the magic of editing, here we are, look. So you can watch what I'm doing on screen and then you can see my pen movements. So on this screen, on the one here with my pen, you're not meant to be able to see what I'm doing because you can look up at the big screen, but I'm hoping using a pen will help you guys out a little bit. And if we tape it, it's kind of like a over the shoulder view that you've got going on and hopefully that'll help everyone out a bit. So let's start by opening up my resequence and let's go to, we are going to uh, applique. And we're just going to do something really quick because again I said it's just a test. Let's do digitize applique and let's just make point, 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 point and enter. So we've made this, you know, crooked square. That's okay, it's crooked. So let's go to applique fabric and let's pick one kind of a pick factory. Let's go to a groovy one, this one, and change the color to something bright and loud. Click OK, and there is our applique. So select. So let's select the whole thing, and I'm just doing it cool with the pen, and I'm going to right click, and I'm gonna drag, and I want them to overlap. Awesome. So let's select both of them and we're going to do partial applique. And once you click that, it really doesn't look like anything's happened. But if we take this applique and we move this one, you can see the partial applique, what it did is it cut out the satin stitches here. So you still have the same exact same shape. So you can cut out two of them or you can cut it as you go, depending on how you like to do it. Um, and it's going to stitch out, you know, the placement line, and this is the tack down stitch, but it's only going to partially cut out or partially stitch the satin stitches, which will make it really nicer for the one that's over top. So let's just edit and undo move for the one over top. It's not going to have a bump over here. Nice, pretty easy. So that is how you do a quick, and kind of crooked partial applique here inside hatch embroidery software and i'll see you guys in the next video bye